and don't speak. If you scream, I will cut your throat. Move. Sit down. I said, sit down. I will lower my sword when you do as I say. Good. My name is not important, but I know yours quite well. Seeing my face won't be useful to you. I am invisible. No one knows my name. No one knows who I am. And even if you saw me in the face, it would be like seeing a ghost. Oh, you want to know how I got in your room? You have a lot of questions. Then me. I've cleaned the wall with a rope and entered through your window. You look surprised. You thought I was some lost maid looking for help from a handsome foreigner. You're probably wondering why I am here. Now, that's a much more important question. I'm keeping an eye on you. No, nobody gave me the specific order. And even if they had, I wouldn't tell you. You are a foreigner, Danin. You don't belong here. And still, my people have welcomed you kindly. Why? What's the reason of your traveling to such a far land? Tell me the truth. I was there when you arrived, on your horse, with just a small traveling bag and another one full of books and papers. You spoke quite well our language and now you speak it even better. But you said you had never been here before. Mi home is very far from your home and you traveled a long way. Why? Learning about our culture. And what do you want to know? Someone paid you to do so? I have heard you have been even granted a consultation with the Shogun. What an honor. You will learn what kind of man he is. I... I am loyal only to the Imperial family, but none of them sent me to you. I'm here on my own. As I told you, I was there when you arrived. I saw you, but you didn't see me. I wouldn't be a good ninja if people could see me, don't you think so? I saw you. I observed you. Follow it every single one of your steps in these weeks, wanting more and more to be honest. There is something about you, I don't know. Never in my life I've met somebody like you. And I need to know everything about you. And I will. The order I belong to doesn't allow us to make such things as friends or lovers, especially those who could be foreigner spies. Oh, you can deny that as long as you want. I will believe you when I've got the evidence of it, and I will get it. How do you say in your country? By hook or by crook? Maybe. I could take you away and keep you in a very secret place until I find out the real reason you have come here from such a far land. <laughs> You'd think that 
your face, those eyes, these lips. You can get anything you want. And if I was another kind of person, maybe you could. But you don't know what I can do. And the trouble you have gotten yourself into just by catching my attention. Nothing escaped my eyes, but interesting me like you do. Now oh, that's another story. In a moment like this, when Nihon is so weak, and in the hands of this corrupted man that is the current shogun. If you really don't mean any harm to Japan, why does he want to see you? You, a Tanin, a foreigner. A scholar, you say. You traveled such a long way, abandoning your home and your family, maybe even for years. Your curiosity looks more like an obsession to me. Did you left a wife or a lover at all? No, this is kind of comforting. I want to be the only woman you tell your darkest secrets to. Oh, you will. You will. I wonder why could I make you speak faster. I am sure you are not telling me all the truth with your story. <laughs> why are you so nervous? Do you feel uncomfortable if I am so close to you? I like your scent. Mm, Yuzu. Did you spend too much time close to a woman? Or you just like the fragrance for your bath? <laughs> you have a very interesting face makes me want to penetrate deeper and deeper into your mind. I like your eyes. Don't your people know that eyes are windows to the soul? You just need to see into a person's eyes to see if they are lying to you or not. Most people look, but they don't see. But I see you. I am always watching you. I must leave you now. But we will see each other again. Be sure of that.